Beside a giant tiger here, they've got some historic signs. There's a map of Hindenburg from 1898. Got the Hindenburg Village Council here from 1897. This is on Wellington West. Great Hull, Ottawa Fire of 1900. And uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. I've never seen that before. fire hydrant with a, a camera on it. I haven't noticed that one before. Here's one, here's one with a TV on it. Never noticed that one before either. It says, oh no, I guess it's a computer monitor because it says www. Across from the church here, we've got a nice little flower garden. There's a, a sunflower that's almost uh, had the biscuit. Nice flowers. There's a bee. like these these kind of leaves here's another one of those fire hydrants it's got like the top of a violin on it or some kind of string instrument there's the church again with a nice big spire on it you might say it's inspiring architecture get it inspire spiring <laughs> uh, piece of street art here. Oh, McDonald's Monopoly is out again. It's that time of year. Here's the Maker House. Uh, I think I'm gonna have a look around in here. We've got uh, some Halloween uh, decorations in there display. <laughs> Selling tea towels here. All different designs. There's one with Parliament on it. It's an indigenous one. Here's those con concrete 
planters that I saw at the uh, other market, the Hindenburg mar Night Market. Succulents for sale. Selling uh, Wellington West signs here. Pottery. Artwork. Blankets. T-shirts. They've got Andy King's books here that I recommend. I've got both of these. They're a really good read if you're into uh, into unique information about uh, Ottawa. Celebrity fridge magnets. There's Degrassi. I like these uh, indigenous uh, design notebooks, cards wool puppets, embroidery kits, cross-stitching kits. These are cool architectural designs. That's the, uh, that's the Union Station train station. We've got big paper craft kits here you can get. Sling puck game, crokinole board, toys, games, more artwork, and a robot. Pillows that look like maple syrup and poutine. These are really neat. That one's cool. Maps of Canada with hearts on them. Treats, handmade soaps, bath bombs, an iron-on patch of a Sasquatch, stickers, got Ottawa Street stickers, there's a West Park Bowling sticker, Civic Pharmacy sticker. I bought a uh, fridge magnet, I'm going to give that as a Christmas gift, uh, uh, as a stocking stuffer. <laughs> is Somerset Square on Wellington West in Hintonburg. There's some pieces of street art on these, uh, whatever they are. Some nice flowers here. Hintonburg. Originally part of Nepean Township and named after Joseph Hinton, Hintonburg was incorporated as a village in December 1893 and annexed to the city of Ottawa in December 1907. There's a fountain in this park. Somerset Square, it says. Somerset Square. here. And we have another one of those crazy hydrants. This one's got honey, a honeycomb on it. There's a bee. Today is a bee themed day, I think. Maybe I should have got a magnet with a bee on it. There's some honey flowing out of the honeycomb and a bee sticking out. I'm actually starting to like these sculptures. There's one sticking his head into the comb and the honey dripping down the hydrant. Interesting. And we're back at Urban Art Collective next to Tinseltown because there is a maker a maker market happening 
There's a mural up here. And I need to cross the street. And the crosswalk's up there. So this is where I was for the Hintenburg Night Market. Look at this car. There's the Maker Fair. And there's Urban Art Collective. And there's a taco place up there. Maybe I'll go for a taco as well. That would be fun. Look at the side of the Urban Art Collective here. It's pretty neat. Welcome to Hintenburg. If you love local art, step inside. Well, I went in there in my previous video. I, it's, uh, that wasn't too long ago, so I, I'm pretty sure there's not much new in there. So I won't be doing that this time, but I will take a look at the Maker's Market on the other side of this building. But for now, let's check out the mural here. These are pasted on with uh, paper. Some of them, some of them are painted on. And the rest is generic graffiti. There's Wellington Street. Oh, there's a staircase there to get to the tacos. There's the taco stand up there. Let's check that out. Here's a good view of the painting on the side of this. This is Yako Taco. Mexican food. We've got uh, tacos, pastor, conchinita, chorizo, steak. I'm gonna have the chicken, I think. Can I have a chicken taco? Oh, do you have do you have a taco? I didn't think of that. I'll be back later. Let's check out this uh, this market. Urban market. Maker Market. Maker Market 2. I missed the first one. I'll get a picture of your sign too. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Got little fried egg earrings. Waffle, a uh, hairpin, chocolate, croissants. Got the Princess Mononoke, or I think that's what it is. Eggs on toast. S'mores. Gummy worms. Cookies. Candy corn. Like, like, I've been slowly like trying to think about the like, um, French toast. And I'm just like, when do people notice? Like, I know, Eggs I in a frying like, pan. I'm not, I'm not the person who is like, it's another. Turtles are nice too, I like those. Thank you. <laughs> the gnomes. I'll Roll take it out of the way there. I'll get a picture of your sign here.
stickers. Little koozies for your drinks. Oh, I like these plants. There's one with an eyeball in it. And this is dream crumbs. It's a jellyfish. Oh, and there's a tiger back there. That's cool. Oh yeah, we saw this this person's artwork earlier. I like that tiger. I didn't notice this last time I was here. There's that jellyfish. Okay, thanks. These are nice in in inlaid wood. Some kids have been doing chalk art here. There's a fish market here. And look at this uh, tattoo shop. There's Baby Yoda. What's this? Dinosaur. Terminator. Look at this here. Is it? Yeah. Maybe. Portuguese bakery here. Looks like they serve uh, grilled chicken too. That might be good. Lisa Bakery. Catholic Church here. guy carrying an electric strawberry and carrot and a potato. It's a big strawberry. Wow, pay phones still exist. Does this one work? Yeah, it still works. This Hindenburg sign is kind of interesting. Some of them are benches to sit on, some of the letters are benches. I think the uh, Parkdale Market might be open. Gourds and pumpkins. Look at them all. structure. Good 
Plenty of spots to eat. Bread makers. Little shop here. There's the dude. The dude. There's the Carlton Tavern there. Morning Owl Coffee. And the Nostalgia Warehouse that I was I explored in one of my videos. I've got uh, pieces of art up on the wall here. I think that's that same artist. Lots to see around here. There's a, a barber for pets. This uh, long building here used to be a, a soda pop factory for Pure Spring, I think. Pure Spring ginger ale. Pretty sure. I'll have to look that up. Some kind of cart. And it's for lease. Oh, there's more on this side. We're seeing a lot of this uh, fellow's artwork today. This is Daniel Martelock. Martelock. He uh, created that piece in 2021. Some tulips. Tulips. Nice little play area. Those those uh, ball, the, those uh, balls there remind me of uh, Target stores. Stupidly didn't have any cash for the. Uh, Yako Taco uh, food truck, but luckily there's another one just over here on uh, Hamilton Hamilton and uh, Wellington just off of Hamilton and Wellington Hopefully it's still open Yako Taco This one the sign is a little more legible what is the difference between polo asada and polo pibil? Uh, this I, uh, I was going by that sign. No, sorry. no, no. Only one no. kind. Yes. Just uh, pollo is, is asado, asada. That's oh, it. Polo asada. Okay. Uh, cochinitas, cochinita pibil is pulled pork. Okay. Pastor is pork with pineapple. Okay. Barbacoa is pulled beef. Picadillos, ground beef. Fish, shrimp, and chorizo. chorizo. Okay. Um, I will go with the uh, polo. Polo? <laughs> One taco? Yeah. To go for here? Uh, for here. Okay. And um, I'll have a Diet Coke as well. Yes. Would it be okay if I, uh, if I took a video of you cooking this? Yes, of course. I won't show your face. Yes. <laughs> Unless you're okay with it. I'll just... Looks good. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> You toast those, a little oil on it. <laughs> Are those corn or wheat? It's corn. Oh, good. Yummy. That's a lot of meat. Yeah. Spicy? Uh, not well. Oh, uh, okay. Level? A little bit. It's okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. I love cilantro. Hamilton Street and Wellington here. Right across from Pizza Pizza. There's a nice little patio here. All kinds of places to sit and eat. There's the shop over there where I got the taco. And it looks really good. What do you think? You get a lot of meat on there. All right, let's try try this out. It smells really good. Oh, it's so full of meat and everything that it's uh, falling apart. Cheers, everybody get a sideways look at it. Look at that. Yum. Mmm. That's very, very good. There's rice on here too. Now I know why you gave me a fork, because it's falling apart. Very good flavors. The spice is good on it. Chicken is marinated in something. The uh, sauce he put on there is very spicy. I'm glad he only put a little bit. The cilantro and onions go good together. Um, there's a hint of acidity in there, possibly a lime juice. And 
the, it's got a double corn tortilla on there. So I assume it's gluten free. Very tasty. It is very nice and accommodating to let me uh, record. All of this fell, <laughs> fell out of my taco. 